Hold on, she, she has a question. A woman has a question. As a Muslim myself, I can assure you that won't happen. I have a question. Now, Muslims are liars, so they're not going to tell you. I'm a liar because I'm I'm always concerned when I see women with burqas. Because when there's women with burqas, the whole place can go boom. You've never been deployed. You've never been deployed. You have never served your country in the Air Force. been deployed over here. All right. Say nigger. Say nigger. We don't call people niggers. We're not racist. Oh, no, you're good. We're Christians. Say nigger and see what my reaction is. Like I said, I have a black friend and he's also a preacher. I'm a white friend. Do you think this is a divine appointment where you consider where you're going? Do you think if God was real, you would probably send a preacher here to this campus to tell you to repent? Redeem us from all iniquity. Purify unto himself our peculiar people as all us in good works. I am day four. I was in getting wasted. They were in college to get their MRS degree. No sin. Whoever abideth in him sinneth not. All the Republicans running are good men. And he wow. Even Carl. Oh, is the bigger run you're in the Hey guys, I just want to tell you something about this Brother Jed guy over here. Now, I've been listening to him for about a couple of years already, and personally, Brother Jed has changed my life. I met Brother Jed about three years ago at the University of Oregon, and after hearing him preach on campus, he was a real Christian. He wasn't one of these limp wrist, pencil neck, weak kneed Christians. Brother Jed is the real deal. And Brother Jed does not compromise like most Christians do on this campus. Uh, speaks the whole truth. And uh, that's why I like Brother Jed. Every time I uh, get on campus, I like to come out and hear Brother Jed. Because I know I'm gonna get the real truth from Brother Jed. Now most of you students, all you want to hear is just the good, nice, and positive things in life. You don't want the truth because I bet that most of you, you can't handle the truth and that's your problem. My good sir, my good sir, I can't handle the truth. Yes. I think you can't Why handle some of the shit that I've seen in my life. So upset. Go back to the Matrix. I have seen things in my life that you couldn't even bear to see. What does that have to do with I've seen some now, of the decapitation. I have seen, I have been Jets beaten. out here trying to make you guys Christians, trying to make you go to heaven and you guys get all angry at him. He's just speaking what the Bible says. No, he preaches hate. I have seen life and what it does to a person. I have gone through so much in my life. Now, have you repented of your shit like Brother repented. Jed was talking about? No, because I am not a Christian. I'm a pronounced not Christian. I'm an agnostic. Well, then Brother Jed would say you're going to hell. And you know what? I'm fine with that. Uh-huh. Why you need to change you your way? Oh, oh, I know. I can't Brother Jed and company, they care about you guys. They don't want you to go to hell. Uh, they want the greatest good for you. And you students don't really understand what love is all about. You think you should people should just accept you as you are, but you're going to hell as you are. You're supposed to accept and so you shall not I support judge. Brother Jed and company. I'm all for them. God bless you, Brother Jed, and God bless all you preachers. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much for that testimony. So yes, there have been people <laughs> been positive by what we do. He's part of them. And some of you all be saying, Thank you, Brother Chad, for teaching us the Bible. You get someone that acts like the, acts like someone who goes here. I had a man here. come up to me yesterday. He probably goes with them. Probably. That's why I said he lived in Oregon. From you, Brother Jed yeah, and Joshua, about the consequences of making wrong choices. We have good news for you. We have to go to hell. You can go to heaven. We, you don't have to have a, be tormented with a guilty conscience and 
be bipolar and schizophrenic and depressed. You can have hope, hope beyond the grave through Jesus Christ. You can have a peace a mind that passes all knowledge and all understanding. If I am the bride of Christ, how did God propose me? Will you accept Hi. my love? Will you like accept an angel? Uh, yeah, hello, yeah. yeah. So yeah. what will you do? There we go. Hey, this is Brother Mikhail over here, and Josh here. is going to call me up He's to preach right Monday. now. Uh, his name is Brother Mikhail. Yes. All right, sinners, let's get down to business over here. To defeat the hunts. <laughs> we have done our research on this campus. We found out that this campus has sinners on it. Yes. And we all know that sinners hate God. We're so happy Mikel showed up and surprised us. Yeah. So I drew the crowd and now he's preaching. Yeah, it's ready to make crowd. Like preaching reunion. There's nothing better. Nothing better. Okay, good. Now, so what's wrong with my preaching over here? Why are you all against it over here? What's happening? My future wife could be here on this campus. How are you going to cook? How are you going to service your husband and be his little helper if you can't even cook? You people need guidance in your life. You made some bad mistakes. We had you did not listen to the authority or someone that's wiser than you. You were listening to yourself. Hey, if it feels good, do it. That's your life. Yes. That's what you're. Yes. That's gonna lead you on the slippery slope to becoming hellbound. He could be Charlie Sheen. You are you damning us to hell? Bible. This I know. For the Bible, Bible tells me you so. Yes, but Jesus no loves me. Yes, Jesus loves, loves me. Even if Jesus the does Bible love you, tells me you so. Everything you do. Bible also you. said God is angry with the wicked. Every the Bible also said that God was the Old Testament. Now we're supposed to strive <laughs> for. No, I'm just trying to make you understand that you are already demonized. That you people got You're demons no, 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 in your no, no, no. life when you use drugs. Do you hey, have this is a breakaway. Okay, first of all, you talk about all of us doing drugs. First of all, do, does anybody here actually do drugs and I'm not a surgeon? Do you please? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. What's your name and social security? My name is Torrance Fuller and my social security number is one, two, three, four, five. What's your name? Cousin Watch is that. I think you guys are following your conscience. I can respect that. I think you guys are doing everything you know is best. I think we have the same goal. We just want You're right. people to encounter the Lord like the time that he's coming back and nobody had ever told me that before. Mm -hmm. So, and then I got saved and I just remember the next day I saw everything with new eyes. Like I wasn't a part of the world anymore. I really didn't mm, feel Born sad. again. Christianity. 
I've actually never been fired. Oh, I do want to be Hey, not too much. Oh, let's see. This could be a layer to be in here. Oh my god. That's a pretty name. Are you fire for God? Hell yeah. Wow. She, she bad as fuck, no so she don't fire. No shit in your life. When you're pretty oh, without makeup. Oh, no. Like, no, no. Are you you're fired from Christianity. Are you perfect? <laughs> And now I'm not physically perfect, even though I have these guns. Got on my knees, and I said, God, save me a sinner! I don't want to sin anymore, I want to obey God! No, because you might die unexpectedly. God might take your life. He'll take your breath from you. What if I and kill somebody? Johnny, it's your time to go, and he'll drag you now. What if I it's not that so easy do it? to repent. That's what the Bible says. When you hear the voice of God, don't harden your heart. You harden the heart of uh, your heart when you hear God's word. And if you don't repent today, the Bible says the saints shall judge the world. What but qualifies you? There's Corinthians chapter 6 says the saints shall judge the world. So I'm going to judge you sinners if you don't All right, so I get... Okay, so we all can't get judged. Oh, crazy. Perfect people can judge. Okay, everyone stand on this line right here. Boom. We're facing this way. Boom. Oh, yeah. I can't even see. Okay. Now, what's your name? My name is Justin Bramlett. I'm pretty sure everyone knows me here. I've been out here all day. Hey, okay, yes. name. Anthony. Well, I haven't been judged Anthony by the agnostic. Maria, the atheist, I'm from Austin, Texas. I'm agnostic too. I'm Logan Sullivan. I'm a Catholic. Woo! Catholic. I'm Brennan Saxon. I'm non-denominational Christian. I'm Spring and I'm Catholic. Oh, I got a Catholic stronghold over here. Okay, students, let's give him some room over here. Yeah, we need some room. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, that's a good, that's a biblical number. That's good. Question, question, number uno. How many of you people identify yourself as a homo hugger. What's that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I also known as a homo sympathizer. Okay, yeah. I don't have to do it. You think it's okay to be gay? If you have even an evil thought in your heart, Order that the is court. the same. No, Order I'm not the court. Court. Let her finish. You can rambly on for hours. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay so make it quick. Jesus died for all you those you don't take you. Even, you. even the ones that are just thought of. Okay. If you look at somebody lustfully, if no. you look at somebody with intent, that's considered yes. a sin. But you know what? Jesus died for that too. I saw that, I reported it. I'm gonna go to the security office. You do not put that down right now. And you don't pay tuition, bitch! Put it down! <laughs> Alright! That's excellent! Don't come in talking shit! Don't touch it! Don't Welcome touch to America it. over here, where you can have hey, a right to record school, if you're in a public space. You pay space. tuition! Raise your hand if you have sex with black guys. Uh oh! <laughs> Last semester with four of them. Then use a hoe! She's done undercover work. I'm like, under undercover, you mean? Listen, man, can we chill out with the sexual innuendos? Okay. Next time you talk to gay people. Okay, back on Brother Jet. He's trying to expose Brother Jet. Let's go ahead. Howdy! Howdy! I would just get the camera away from me, man. We're trying to make you famous. You got a good voice. All right. Who the hell told you about? No, he is. He put me on YouTube. Yeah, no. We're gonna put you on YouTube. We're gonna put you on YouTube to make you famous. What are you talking? I watched a few of y'all's videos on YouTube. My YouTube channel is Russian Street Preacher. Don't look it up. We take, no, 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 the way we interpret the Bible, the Holy Scripture, does not make somebody 
A whore? I didn't say she was or, a whore. No, but you're implying that this woman needs to get a husband and, and then she needs it. to shut up. I'm not getting a husband. Listen. I'm celibate for life because God told me to. Oh, really? Yes. She's right. going to be a nun for Jesus. Oh, God told me that. Hey. I'm not Catholic. Oh. He said you're full of bullshit. Okay, so good. Stay single. Don't have sex outside of marriage. And uh, be a good girl. Hey, why aren't you here supporting us? What? I'm supporting the word of God. You, you have not speaking the word of God. Listen, when I came here can yesterday, you flow, yo? listen, just because you take a random passage and you out of context and you throw it out here and then you say, "This is my message: homosexuals all deserve to die." <laughs> Do you, you believe that? All this shit. This okay. Do you You're seriously wrong. believe that? You are completely wrong. I heard this guy yesterday say that the United States of America deserves to have an Islamic caliphate because of our sin. What the you fuck said you that. Did you say that? My God, that made my blood boil, man. Okay. America's yes. the best damn country in this world. Hey, America, we, you know, like we agree, world. but you people. Keep, Don't you know, say you people. Keep I'm trying to send Muslims to this country. I'm with Donald people. Trump. I'm trying to ban this Muslim immigration. So you're trying to make the rich and richer in a poor poor man. You have, not true. you have never served in a combat zone anywhere in the Middle East. You have no idea whatsoever of the culture of our enemies. I do. They're radicals. They hate the living Jesus Christ. You know what? You are, you're a radical Christian, and you know what? They're just as fucking dangerous as any radical ever. Okay, let me explain. The difference between a radical Christian and a radical Muslim is what you explain. No! A radical Christian will come to your campus and preach. A radical Muslim will chop your head off. The difference between regular Christians and your kind of Christians is that your kind of Christians are the ones who create organizations like KKK. You are not going to take the statement. You're going to get your ass. Wait, Texas State? You said y'all say I'm going to take the statement. I promised the guy you were going to get your ass with some racial ass slurs at fucking Texas. I we did not make a, a fucking, fucking racial slur. White people and black people there, and they're the most important. The only guns I got are these. People. I'm not here to kill you. I'm here to preach to you. I will sin. You guys think I'm gonna kill you? No. No. There you go. I will sin. Am I intimidating you guys right now? It's a big no, no. No, no. Oh, you really like me. I thought you were too pretty to be a together. You girls look nothing like Rosie O'Donnell. Save from the nation. Go to heaven. At the end of the day. Yeah. 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 Yeah.